Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Mosaic delay upsets sport plane industry. FAA certified SLSA Savage Norden stole airplane on display. Possible Boeing strike averted. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Mosaic delay upsets sport plane industry. The annual Oshkosh Meet the Boss event was one of the most sparsely attended editions we've seen to date, seemingly due to the fact that word was out that the FAA had disappointing news, and they did. What everyone wanted to hear was positive news about Mosaic, a program that would determine the future of light aircraft. A working version, if not the NPRM itself, was previously promised for this year, but due to the politics of separating the program into segments that set unmanned aircraft and autonomous vehicles apart from the pseudo-LSA sport aircraft community, it needed revision. A great number of LSA and GA manufacturers were hoping for positive news since the delay was keeping them from finalizing the next generation of sport and GA aircraft and having new aircraft ready to sell ASAP. But that isn't happening with delays forecast to take another year at least, which one active LSA manufacturer called devastating. A broadened definition of what constitutes a sport aircraft and a means to reasonable certification were one of the most important factors several manufacturers noted in hopes for the AirVenture 2022. One manufacturer stated that, quote, this industry needed the FAA to do their job and help us rebuild aviation, and they've really let us down. For a year or more or even longer, it's going to be costly, end quote. And after the break, Virgin Galactic to construct astronaut training campus. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Virgin Galactic to construct astronaut training campus. Virgin Galactic, the space flight and space tourism subsidiary of Sir Richard Charles Nicholas Branson's Virgin Group, has announced that it has secured land on which to build an astronaut training facility. The land, located in Sierra County, New Mexico, near the company's Las Cruces headquarters, will be home to a new first-of-its-kind astronaut campus for the exclusive use of future Virgin Galactic astronauts and up to three of their guests in advance of space flight from the company's Spaceport America complex. Celebrating a half-century of F-15 goodness On July 27, 1972, the Boeing F-15 flew for the first time with Chief Test Pilot Irv Burroughs at the controls. Fifty years later, the, quote, undefeated F-15 continues to evolve and add advanced capability to the U.S. Air Force fighter fleet. The newest F-15, the F-15 EX Eagle II, delivers a state-of-the-art electronic warfare system along with contemporary sensors and avionics. The airframe, known for its payload capacity, is capable of carrying next-generation hypersonic weapons. Updated timeline posted for Canadian ADSB mandate. In February 2022, NAV Canada laid out the reasons for, nature of, and effective dates of its plan to require aircraft operating in certain Canadian airspace to meet ADSB outperformance requirements. However, supply chain breakdowns and other such ramifications of the COVID madness have since compelled the agency to revise the dates on which its ADSB edicts are to go into effect. NAV Canada's ADSB mandate will be implemented as follows Class A Canadian airspace, August 10, 2023. 
Class B, Canadian airspace, May 16th, 2024. Class C, D, and E to occur no sooner than 2026 and shall be determined pending further assessment. Thrust Flight Commercial Pilot Curriculum earns FAA examining authority. Thrust Flight, the Addison, Texas-based flight academy, has announced that it has earned FAA examining authority over the commercial single-engine land facet of its Part 141 approved training curriculum. Examining authority enables designated academy personnel to perform check rides for enrolled students pursuing commercial pilot certification. Such discretion is only afforded flight schools that demonstrably and consistently provide their students high-quality ground and flight training. Thrust Flight is among only a few institutions in North Texas to receive examining authority. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. SLSA Savage Norton stole airplane on display. Sport Air USA, the Arkansas-based FAA-certified repair station and aircraft and components distributor, has announced that the American version of Zlin's new Savage Norton Stoll aircraft has received FAA approval in the category of special light sport aircraft. Zlin Aircraft, formerly and perhaps more widely known as Moravan Otrokovice, is a Czech aircraft manufacturer of light agricultural, aerobatic, and backcountry airplanes. The company's Savage Norden is a largely clean-sheet, high-wing stole aluminum monoplane designed for backcountry use. The machine's Norden moniker is an homage to the world's northern Nordic climbs, which Zlin's literature identifies as the Savage Norden's primary market, and to which the company has tailored the aircraft's forward-thinking design, rugged construction, and outstanding stole and backcountry capabilities. Sport Air President Bill Canino states, quote, The Norden is a high-performing aluminum wing airplane with electrically controlled leading-edge slats designed and thoroughly tested for short field and off-runway performance. It also exhibits good speed and stable cruise characteristics, which are unusual in aircraft of this design. We have reserved a limited number of production slots with delivery scheduled for this year, end quote. The Savage Norton's design amalgamates conventional short takeoff and landing elements with innovative concepts tested and proved in previous Zlin airplanes such as the Savage Classic, Cruiser, iCub, Nomad, Bobber, Shock, and Shock Ultra. And after these messages, possible Boeing strike averted. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot usa.com. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Possible Boeing strike averted. Boeing's fortunes in every sense are on the rise. The 2022 Farnborough Air Show saw the plane maker secure 237 firm orders. Deals with Delta, ANA, and Qatar Airlines for 175 MAX variants effectively resuscitated Boeing's long beleaguered 737 MAX program. What's more, the FAA on July 29th approved the Aerospace Titan's plan to correct its 787 production woes, thereby greenlighting the long-awaited recommencement of Dreamliner deliveries. That such a winning streak would see Boeing's luck run out seemed a certainty, but Big B's luck held. Boeing avoided a crippling work stoppage at its St. Louis Defense Manufacturing Hub when nearly 2,500 machinists who'd previously voted to strike accepted a last-minute contract offer from the airframer. 
The new contract provides Boeing workers the choice between a taxable $8,000 cash bonus and a deposit in the same amount in a 401k account. Under the new agreement, Boeing will automatically put the equivalent to 4% of a worker's pay into his 401k each year. The contract does, however, do away with the company's dollar-for-dollar -dollar 401k match, in lieu of which Boeing will match 75% of the first 8% of employee contributions. In addition to revised retirement provisions, the new contract includes a $2 per hour base wage increase for all employees. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.